We're learning more tonight about what to expect as D.C. launches its search for a new police chief. Police Chief Robert Conti will wrap up his tenure with the Metropolitan Police Department on June 3rd. He's taking a job with the FBI. Yeah, but as D.C. deals with a crime surge, what does this mean for a new chief and what can we expect for that chief? Now, reporter Marion Carbone joins us live from police headquarters tonight. She's been working to get answers to that. And, Marion, today we heard from the chief himself and also his predecessor. Yeah, that's right, Infos. I mean, the chief really said that this opportunity with the FBI was just too good to pass up. Uh, but we know this job here as chief in his hometown was really a dream job. Still, he says all the tragedies you deal with on the job has really weighed on him, and that is something the next chief has to be able to handle. It is my highest honor, my highest honor, to be able to serve the residents of the District of Columbia. And with that, Chief Robert Conti begins to wrap up his 33-year career with the Metropolitan Police Department. I'm able to leave out of here with my head high and my chest stuck out because I did everything that I possibly could for my city. But he admits it hasn't been easy. If I never have to hear another parent who lost their child screams, if I never have to hear that again, I'm okay. Dealing with those tragedies will now fall to the next chief of police. We are conducting a national search. Who the district is already searching for. It's not an easy job. It's going to consume your life. Peter Newsham knows what it takes to do the job. He's now the chief at Prince William County Police Department, but served as D.C.'s police chief for three years. I think the most important thing we need to do in policing today is to inspire our people to do this work. The deputy mayor's office of public safety and justice will lead the search. Excellent leadership, a commitment to crime fighting and a commitment to DC values. But some in the field say finding that person could be difficult. In a statement, police union president Greg Pemberton said, we believe that this process will be significantly more challenging than years past due to the negative climate around law enforcement that have been promoted by certain DC council members. I think you're gonna have a wealth of very talented people that'll put in for the position. You get to see things that people in other jurisdictions just don't get to see in Washington, D.C. Now, the position is already posted online and it is requiring at least 15 years of policing experience. Uh, Mark Anthesmine, it also says as one of the responsibilities that the chief will be uh, needing to build up and maintain a relationship between the police and the community. Reporting live from police headquarters, I'm Arielle Carbone, DC News Now.